let us discuss some multiple choice questions on the topic elevation of boiling point the rise in the boiling point of a solution containing 1.8 gram of glucose in 100 gram of a solvent is 0.1 degree celsius the molar elevation constant of the liquid is option a 0.01 k oblique m option b 0.1 k oblique m option c 1 k by m option d 10 k by m mass of solute w2 is given 1.8 gram molar mass of solute here glucose is solute its molar mass for c6h12o6 12 into 6 plus 1 into 12 plus 16 into 6 is equals to 180 gram per mole mass of solvent w1 is given 100 gram elevation of boiling point represented by delta tb is equals to 0.1 degree celsius in terms of kelvin it will be 0.1 kelvin here you are not supposed to add 273 because it is not the temperature which you have to convert into kelvin it is the difference in the temperature of tb and t0b which you have to convert into kelvin so it will remain as it is then uh, molar elevation constant uh, kb you have to find out apply the formula delta tb is equals to kb into molality so delta tb is equals to kb into apply the formula of molality that is uh, mass by molar mass of the solute into 1000 divided by mass of solvent in gram rearrange and uh, calculate for kb kb is equals to delta tb into m2 m2 w1 divided by w2 1000 substitute the values delta tb 0.1 kelvin into m2 m2 we have calculated above 180 gram per mole into w1 w1 is 100 gram divided by w2 w2 is 1.8 gram into 1000 gram per kg so if you work out this one you will get 1 kelvin kg per mole here uh, kg per mole is the inverse of the unit of molality so take uh, molality on the denominator side so the answer becomes 1 kelvin per m m stands for molality thus option c is correct the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure is known as option a freezing point option b boiling point option c absolute temperature of option d none of these the temperature at which vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure is known as boiling point the so option b is correct the unit of ebullioscopic constant is option a kelvin kg per mole or kelvin per molality option b mole kg per kelvin or per kelvin molality option c kg per mole per kelvin or per kelvin per molality option d kelvin mole per kg or kelvin into molality the unit of ebullioscopic constant is kelvin kg per mole or kelvin per molality you can work out its uh, unit by the formula delta tb is equals to kbm kb is equals to delta tb by m unit of delta tb is kelvin and uh, unit of uh, molality is mole per kg thus you will get kelvin kg per mole or kelvin per molality the boiling points for aqueous solutions of sucrose and urea are same at constant temperature if 3 g of urea is dissolved in its 1 liter solution what is the weight of sucrose dissolved in its 1 liter solution here uh, molar mass of urea is given 60 g per mole and that of sucrose 342 g per mole options are option a 3 g option b 17.1 g option c 6 g option d 34.2 g take the ratio of elevation of boiling point of sucrose to that of urea apply the formula of delta tb is equals to kbm thus the equation becomes delta tb sucrose divided by delta tb urea is equals to kb 
water divided by KB water this will get cancelled into mass of uh, sucrose into 1000 divided by molar mass of sucrose into mass of water into molar mass of urea into mass of water divided by mass of urea into 1000 so here mass of uh, water and mass of water will get cancelled 1000 1000 will get cancelled KB water KB water will get cancelled thus we are left with WS by MS into MU by WU out of which we have to find out WS so the equation becomes here uh, since the elevation in boiling point of sucrose and that of urea is same and moreover solvent is also same so the ratio will become 1 so 1 is equal to WS into 60 here uh, molar mass of urea is 60 divided by MS that is molar mass of sucrose is 342 into mass of urea mass of urea is 3 grams so work out for WS you will get 342 into 3 divided by 60 that is equal to 17.1 gram the molar elevation or ebullioscopic constant of water is option A 1.86 Kelvin per molality option B 526 Kelvin per molality option C 55.5 Kelvin per molality option D 0.52 Kelvin per molality so the answer is 0.52 Kelvin per molality so this you have to remember instead of uh, Kelvin per molality Kelvin kg per mole can also be written the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution of a solute in a solvent is called option a boiling point constant option b molar elevation constant option c cryoscopic constant option d none of these the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution of a solute in a solvent is called molar elevation constant thus option b is correct an aqueous solution containing one gram of urea boils at 100.25 degrees celsius the aqueous solution containing 3 gram of glucose in the same volume will boil at molecular weight of glucose is 180 and that of urea is 60 option a 100.75 degrees celsius option b 100.5 degrees celsius option c 100.25 degrees celsius option d 100 degrees celsius For urea, delta Tb is equal to Tb minus T0 B. Tb is given 100.25 degrees Celsius and T0 B for water 100 degrees Celsius. So 100.25 minus 100 is equal to 0.25 degrees Celsius. So elevation in boiling point for urea is 0.25 degrees Celsius. Then apply the formula delta Tb divided by delta Tb for glucose divided by delta Tb for urea is equals to Kb by water divided by Kb by water so this will get cancelled into so in the middle uh, of the formula uh, it is the formula of uh, molality for glucose and on the right hand side we have written the formula for the molality of urea so for glucose it is uh, mass of glucose divided by molecular mass of glucose into 1000 divided by mass of water similarly here mass of uh, urea molecular mass of urea divided by mass of urea into this, uh, mass of water divided by thousand so kb by water kb by water will get cancelled thousand thousand will get cancelled mass of water mass of water will get cancelled so we are left with uh, wg by mg into mu by wu substitute the values uh, delta tb glucose divided by Delta Tb for urea here above we have found that it is 0.25 is equal to the mass of glucose is 3 gram and uh, molar mass of urea is 60 gram per mole and molar mass of glucose is 180 gram per mole and uh, mass of urea is 1 gram calculate this one you will get 1 Delta Tb for uh, glucose is equal to 0.25 degrees Celsius Delta Tb for glucose is equal to Tb minus T0B. Therefore, 0.25 degrees Celsius is equal to Tb minus 100 degrees Celsius. 
dB is equal to 0 0.25 plus 100 degree Celsius that is 100.25 degree Celsius as so, option C is correct. The boiling point of water which is 100 degree Celsius becomes 100.52 degree Celsius if 3 gram of a non-volatile solute is dissolved in 200 ml of water. The molecular weight of solute is Kb for water is given 0.6 Kelvin kg per mole. Option A 12.2 gram per mole, option B 15.4 gram per mole, option C 17.3 gram per mole, option D 20.4 gram per mole. Boiling point of water T0B is given 100 degree Celsius. Boiling point of solution Tb, this is also given 100.52 degree Celsius. Mass of solute W2 is equal to 3 grams. This is also given. Mass of solvent water represented by W1 is equal to 200 gram. Because density of water is for 1 ml it is 1 gram. Therefore, for 200 ml it will be 200 gram. Then uh, M2 molar mass of solute we have to find out. Kb value is given 0 0.6 Kelvin kg per mole. Apply the formula delta Tb is equal to Tb minus T0B is equal to Kb into formula of molarity that is W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1. Substitute the values Tb 0 100.52 degree Celsius minus T0B 100 degree Celsius. Difference will be 0 0.52 degree Celsius in terms of Kelvin also it will be same. And then is equal to Substitute the value of Kb 0.6 Kelvin kg per mole. W2 is given 3 gram into 1000 gram per kg divided by M2. We have to find out into W1 that is 200 gram. So work out the value of M2. M2 is equal to 9 divided by 0.52 that is 17.3 gram per mole. This option C is correct. At higher altitudes, the boiling point of water lowers because Option A, atmospheric pressure is low. Option, option B, temperature is low. Option C, atmospheric pressure is high. Option D, none of this. At higher altitudes, atmospheric pressure is low. Therefore, boiling point of water lowers. Therefore, option A is correct. Pressure cooker reduces cooking time for food because option A, heat is more evenly distributed in the cooking space. Option B, Boiling point of water involved in cooking is increased. Option C, the higher pressure inside the cooker crushes the food material. And option D, cooking involves chemical changes helped by a rise in temperature. As the pressure inside the cooker increases, the boiling point of water also increases. Therefore, option B is correct.